Have you ever found yourself where you constantly keep dreaming about people? Sometimes, it could be your family members or friends you haven't seen for years. Either way, such dreams are not a coincidence. In this video, I'm going to be revealing the hidden mystery behind why you might sometimes randomly dream about people even when you aren't thinking about them. So without further ado, let's get started. Dreaming about people can be quite confusing. You go to bed to have a nice sleep, only to find yourself dreaming about people you may know or not even know. You see, when you repeatedly dream about people close to your heart, especially your close friends or family members, that dream might be telling you that they are going through certain issues and God wants you to pray for them. It is a sign that God has made you a part of the solution to that problem. I know this might sound a little bit confusing, but let me explain. In every household, there is someone special who God specifically chooses to be the watchman for that family. This person can be anyone. And in this case, you might be that person. And let me tell you, it's no coincidence that you've been having these dreams about your loved ones. You see, those dreams are a way for God to reveal things to you that even those people don't know. Whenever the enemy plans something against them, God will immediately show it to you so that you can put a stop to it. This means you are not just a random bystander of these dreams. You are a chosen vessel, destined to make a difference. Now, I know you might be wondering what you can actually do with these dreams. Well, let me tell you something powerful. The Bible in James chapter 5 verse 16 says, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. That means your prayers carry some serious weight. The reason why God chooses to show you is because the people you see in your dreams may be spiritually insensitive or not fully open to receiving that kind of important information at that time. So what does God do? He chooses to show these things to you instead. It's because He sees you as part of the solution and wants you to help them out. By revealing these dreams or visions to you, God is inviting you to pray for them. In fact, many of the people you dream of might not even know you in person. You might be in one country and you are dreaming about someone else in another country you've never met. Let's say this person is going through a tough time or they're in the hospital and feeling alone. They need someone to pray for them and there's no one around. That's where you come in. God might choose to reveal this person to you in a dream, even if you have no clue who they are. You might wake up wondering why this person showed up in your dream. But when you wake up and pray for that person you dreamt of, God uses your voice to go and heal them. They might not know you, but they'll feel the impact of your prayers. You might wake up, pray, and suddenly that person you prayed for gets well wherever they were. You might not even know that what you've just done has saved someone's life. But trust me, God works in mysterious ways. The amazing thing is this. That same person might have a real-life dream where they randomly saw you praying for them and they were healed. That random person is you. Do you see how amazing God is? Isn't it incredible to think that you can make a difference in someone's life, even from a distance? The Bible makes us understand that God works in mysterious ways, and so He has no limitations as to what He can do. Maybe you dream about your mother falling ill or envision your dad in a car accident. Or perhaps you have dreams of your cousin, whom you haven't seen in ages. These experiences are a clear indication that God is calling you to intercede for them. And guess what? This calling doesn't just happen when you're asleep. It can also happen while you're wide awake too. You might wonder why you can't just relax and enjoy your time there. Well, it's because God has a special mission for you within your own family. He's stirring up that restlessness in your spirit because He wants you to be a voice in that family. And until you take the time to intercede for your loved ones, that restless feeling won't go away. Now, you might be thinking, why can't God just fix everything Himself? Why does He need you to pray? The answer is quite simple. God exists outside of our earthly realm, while we humans exist within the earthly domain. So when it comes to taking action on things earth or your family, God will choose to partner with someone. And in order for God to work His wonders, He needs a voice. And guess whose voice He is looking for? It's yours. He isn't showing you these things to entertain you. In fact, He isn't even showing you for you to go and tell them. He is showing you because He sees you as His chosen vessel. Sometimes when you step foot in your own home, there's this restless feeling that nags at you. This might feel like a burden, but trust me, it's actually a huge privilege. This shows God has seen you tall and so He wants to use you. In fact, listen to this carefully. There are certain things that can never happen on earth if a man prays. 
Likewise, there are certain things that can never happen in your family unless you pray. The reason things keep going wrong in your family is because when God shows you these things, instead of praying, you always end up complaining. Oh, and let me tell you something else. God won't just magically fix everything in your surroundings without you getting involved. Believe it or not, some of the troubles you've managed to escape in life were not just because of your prayers. No, there were people out there who interceded on your behalf, even without them knowing why. Some of these people who prayed for you were strangers and didn't even know why they prayed for you. In fact, the most important people on this planet are those who pray. With the rate of evil currently existing on this earth, this world would not survive without people who pray. Their prayers act as a neutralizer against the attacks of the enemies. So God puts you in that position for a reason. He needs your voice to tackle the enemy. He wants to use you as a human agent through which he can pass to manifest in those people's lives. Let me show you an incredible example of how God works in mysterious ways. In the book of Acts chapter 10, there was a man named Cornelius who had a dream where an angel showed up and told him to find Peter. Now, here's the interesting part. Cornelius and Peter had never ever met before. They were complete strangers. But you know what was really amazing? Through this dream, God was able to connect them and bring them together. I mean, seriously, isn't that amazing? But here's the thing that is the really exciting part. As you continue to be obedient to God's voice and promptings, God will begin to promote you in the Spirit. You will find yourself moving from level to level. Firstly, God will start by revealing things about yourself. As you progress, God will then begin to reveal things about the lives of others, allowing you to speak into their lives. As your understanding deepens and you continue to obey, you'll begin to see the bigger issues about the needs of your country. Eventually, you'll reach a level where your voice becomes the voice of nations, where your words hold power and influence. You will no longer just be an ordinary intercessor. You will become a formidable voice, much like Elijah the prophet who could command the rain to cease. When a war is about to happen, God will inform you well in advance. He will even talk to you about it to see what you think. He will involve you in economic matters when you start dealing with worldly affairs. But it doesn't stop there. God will then begin to reveal things about the heavenly realms to you. At this level, you will gain control over the powers of the heavenly realms. You will be able to thwart the plans of your enemies, including the principalities and rulers of darkness. Just like the Bible says that God doesn't do anything on earth without revealing it to his prophets, God will continue to reveal secrets to you. The real question is, will you listen to that small, quiet voice? Will you obey his calling? If you accept the calling God has given,